Thank you for tuning into another video from JRM Recaps. Today we will be discussing the 2013 film, Gravity. Hope you enjoy. Spoilers ahead. The film begins in 2014 with biomedical engineer, Dr. Ryan Stone, who is a mission specialist on her first space shuttle mission, STS-157. She is on a spacewalk fixing a panel on the Hubble Space Telescope, joined by veteran astronaut Matt Kowalski, who is commanding his last expedition. Mission Control unexpectedly orders them to abort the mission and get back to the STS. Houston lets them know that debris from a Russian missile strike on a defunct satellite has caused a chain reaction, obliterating other satellites, causing an enormous debris field to head right at them. Within a few minutes, they lose communication with Mission Control, however Stone and Kowalski keep on transmitting using the phrase in the blind, in the hopes that the ground crew can hear them. High-speed debris starts striking the STS, sending it spinning wildly, with Stone at the end of the robot arm. A piece of debris severs the robot arm from the STS, and Stone must detach the tether still holding her to the robot arm. Once free, she is thrown far from the STS. Stone panics, attempting to contact Houston or Kowalski. Kowalski, who is wearing a thruster pack, unexpectedly shows up and connects her tether to him. He flies them back to the STS, and on the way they locate the engineer Sharif, who was killed when something smashed his helmet in. They find that the STS adventurer has been catastrophically damaged. The interior of the shuttle has been torn open by the debris and the rest of the crew are also dead. Kowalski chooses to utilize the thruster pack to get to the International Space Station, otherwise known as the ISS, which is in orbit around 100 kilometers away. Kowalski gauges they have 90 minutes before the debris field completes an orbit around Earth and threatens them once more. With Stone's oxygen supply running low, they float through space towards the ISS. Kowalski makes small talk and asks Stone about her life back home and learns that her daughter hit her head during a schoolyard accident and as a result died. As they approach the slightly damaged ISS, they see that its crew is already evacuated in one of the Soyuz modules, and that the parachute of the other Soyuz module has accidentally deployed, rendering it useless for a return to Earth. Kowalski says that the Soyuz module can still be utilized to travel to Tiangong, the nearby Chinese space station, to recover another module that can take them to Earth. Almost out of air and maneuvering fuel for the thruster pack, the two attempt to grab a hold of the ISS as they zoom by. The tether holding them together breaks and without a second to spare, Stone's leg becomes caught in the Soyuz module's parachute lines. Stone grabs onto Kowalski's tether, preventing him from flying off into space, but only by a very narrow margin. Kowalski realizes that his momentum will carry them both out into space, and over Stone's protests, he detaches his end of the tether so that Stone can survive. The tension in the lines pulls her back towards the ISS. As Kowalski drifts away, he radios her with additional directions about how to get to the Chinese space station, encouraging her to continue with her survival mission. Stone enters the ISS through an airtight chamber, and once she is out of her spacesuit, she is relieved to breathe again. She starts to get acquainted with the ISS when an alarm makes her aware of a fire. She advances toward the module where the fire is and tries to put it out, but she is stunned for a moment when the force of the fire extinguisher thrusts her backward, causing her to hit her head. She recuperates and tries to put the fire out again until it becomes out of control and takes off towards the Soyuz module. With the fire closing in, she closes the hatch, pulling in the fire extinguisher at the last moment. She separates from the ISS just to find that the Soyuz module's parachute lines are entangled with the station. Wearing a Soviet spacesuit, she climbs out the spacecraft in order to free the cables before the debris field comes back around again. Holding onto the Soyuz module, the ISS is destroyed around her. Freed from the ISS and the parachute lines, Stone re-enters the Soyuz module and aims it towards Tiangong. She fires the thrusters but the fuel gauge is incorrect because the tanks are empty. Stone realizes she is stranded and accepts she will die. She makes contact with an Inuit angler named Aningak and tries to speak to her but there is a language barrier. 
Stone then eases back the oxygen flow which will make her fall into unconsciousness from no oxygen, and will then pass away. As she begins to lose consciousness, Kowalski out of nowhere shows up outside, opens the spacecraft lock, and enters the cabin. He inquires as to whether she would like to live or die. He then advises her to utilize the Soyuz module's landing rockets to propel her towards Tiangong. As she gets back to full consciousness, Kowalski has vanished, as it was all part of an hallucinatory dream. Stone restores the flow of oxygen and uses the landing thrusters to navigate towards Tiangong. With no fuel to slow down or to dock the Soyuz module with the Chinese station, Stone ejects herself from the Soyuz module by explosive decompression. She then utilizes the remaining pressure in the fire extinguisher as a makeshift thruster to propel herself towards Tiangong, which has been deserted. She enters the Tiangong space station, and climbing through the inside, makes her way to the Shenzhou capsule. The Tiangong station is no longer in orbit because of the damage by the debris field, and starts to break up on the upper edge of the atmosphere. Stone can't separate the capsule from the space station, and she surrenders to her destiny, whatever it may be. As the space station starts to break up, the Shenzhou capsule is broken off from the station, and Stone fires the device that separates the capsule from the remainder of the station. As the capsule barrels towards Earth, it rights itself and falls through the atmosphere. The radio crackles with traffic from Mission Control, who are tracking the capsule, and tell her that a rescue is on its way. The parachute automatically deploys and Stone lands in a lake close to the shore. The cabin is full with smoke, and after she opens the hatch the capsule tilts, permitting it to fill with water. At the point when she thinks everything is safe, she is unable to leave the capsule due to the water rushing in. The capsule sinks to the bottom of the lake with Stone inside. Stone finds an air pocket inside the capsule, and is able to get out. Her spacesuit is weighing her down so she removes it in order to be able to swim to the surface. She swims to shore, gets up, and takes a couple shaky steps. Thank you for watching our recap. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. Also, try some of our other videos displayed on screen.